Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. A little bit of news for the day. So polio has been found in the UK. The disease had long since been eradicated. However, it has now been found in, I believe, London. Ambulance times across the US have been extended. Many places have been described as saying uh, the wait times have exceeded an hour, if not an hour and a half. Gun Control Bill, Safer Communities Act, has passed the House. Fourteen Republicans have voted to pass this legislation. Roy Blunt from Missouri, Richard Burr from North Carolina, Shelley Morcapito, I think, um, from West Virginia, Bill Cassidy, Louisiana, Susan Collins from Maine, John Cornyn from Texas, Joni Ernst, Iowa, Lindsey Graham, South Carolina, Mitch McConnell, Kentucky, the turtle himself, Lisa Murkowski, Alaska, Rob Portman, Ohio, Mitt Romney, from Utah, Tom Tillis from North Carolina, and Todd Young from Indiana. So this bill provides funding for mental health within communities and schools. Awesome. Here's where it gets crappy. It expands access to juvenile records, and it, this includes involuntary commitment to mental health facilities after the age of 16. So... If you have sealed juvenile records that would otherwise, as an adult, prohibit you from owning a firearm, then, yeah, you're, you're going to be prohibited from owning and possessing a firearm if this legislation passes. As well as if you were uh, committed to any mental health facility involuntary, ugh, involuntarily after the age of 16. It also goes on to expand background checks for those 18 to 21, and it can delay background checks for those individuals for up to 10 business days. It also changes the definition of uh, an FFL to include anyone, quote, selling a firearm for profit. So it used to be uh, uh, FFL, you had to make a livelihood out of selling firearms to require an FFL. This, basically, any Joe Blow selling a gun, whether it be for one, whether it be two guns a year, whatever, may require you to uh, obtain an FFL license. Uh, the problem with this is it doesn't, it doesn't specify quote for profit so you don't even have to make a profit on the fire selling the firearm to be included in this uh, verbiage um, it also provides massive funding to incentivize um, uh, incentivize states to implement red flag laws if you don't know what those are go look them up um, and it also goes on to close the boyfriend, quote, loophole, um, which prohibits access to firearms in anyone in a, quote, dating relationship who has been convicted of domestic violence. So that is the gist of that bill. It is quite likely to pass the Senate. It has already passed the House. And, uh, yeah. So call your reps. I know doesn't tend to do a lot of good but so neither does sitting there and saying I'm not gonna call him it doesn't do any good neither does not calling so I don't know I think a uh, couple minutes out of your day is worth your freedom but that's just my opinion all right guys if you found this information useful, helpful, if you got anything out of this, call these people that I mentioned earlier. 
and don't re-vote them in. Because they're clearly garbage. Alright guys, like, share, subscribe. We'll talk to you later.